this was in, I'm trying to think, King George's um, silver anniversary. I can't remember exactly the date, but it was in the mid-30s somewhere, early 30s. And it was going to be his, his uh, 25th anniversary of being king. And it was very exciting. They were going to have all, we were going to have a picnic and we were going to have all kinds of stuff. But he was going to make a speech in England. And our principal was the only guy on the whole side of the hill where we lived who had a radio. No, none of us had ever heard a radio before, but he had a radio. And he got the idea, wouldn't it be fun if I took my radio down to the chapel and hooked it all up? And so all of these students could hear the king speak. And so they thought that was a wonderful idea. So he brought his radio down and hooked it all up. And they gave us an early supper and sent us all to bed. And then, because the king's speech, by the time the time changed, it landed at us at midnight. And so they woke us up at 11 o'clock and we got all dressed and went to the chapel. And we actually heard the radio for the first time. And we couldn't believe it. The king is in England. And he's talking right now, and we're hearing it. Marvelous. First time we'd ever seen such a thing. I mean, now it's, who thinks about that? I mean, that's old dead stuff. Nobody thinks about a radio being wonderful. But you know, the first time any new thing comes. That's why when you take Christianity to people, it's also the same, the same kind of a thing. This is wonderful news. You mean there's forgiveness? We don't have to be have all of these horrible things happen to us? The, the people that we worked with were animists. That is, they're devil worshipers. And the little kids that came, their parents had become Christians, but they had heard all of these stories. And they told us, and I know one of the stories was, we had a great big mango tree in the middle of the compound. And my dad had his um, train, had a piece of train track that used to ring for the bell, for church bell. And the little kids would never go under that tree because there was a devil that lived in that tree. And if you went under that tree, he'd get you and you're in real trouble. So don't you go under that tree. And for a long time, I believed them. It must be true, they're telling it to me. Until I told my folks and then they explained to me that that wasn't so at all. Very different. <laughs>